Hey guys, welcome to the show, Tea and Talk. Listen as I talk to Daphne Bryan about being a bitter woman. Don't tell me again. Now you're talking about being bitter? Why? Since you've been married, child, you have to explain that. Okay, so can I start from the beginning? Please do. Okay. So the oldest woman, the bitter woman, I was, prior to marriage, mm-hmm. um, my nickname was me. <laughs> yeah, Eva Lee. Only because, and I don't even know why. I, I really don't know why. It's just that, it's just a feeling I guess I had, and I don't know if it's because, you know, things didn't go my way as a kid. Um, my father, I wasn't raised by my father, I was raised by a single mother. Mm-hmm. So a lot of her hurts kind of trickled on to me. Mm-hmm. So I figured, hey, once I get married, I'll be nice and happy. I'll have my little family, <coughs> and it'll be all good. Well, so you thought the husband was gonna make the feelings go away? That's yes, good. That's good. Yes, yes. I thought I was gonna be happy. You know, you always think if I just get just just get this, I'll be happy. If I can, well, for me it was if I could just be married, I'll be happy. Mm-hmm. And at first I was because you know he picked me. I'm happy. You know I was all happy, especially when other women were after him. Mm, you was the prize. I was the prize. Was the prize. Right. right. Yes. Right. So. And then uh, there is such thing as a honeymoon period. <laughs> you get that nice honeymoon period, and then real life sets in. And then once real life sets in, and then all of a sudden, even though the man's ahead, because I was raised by a woman, strong woman, uh, sometimes I got a little confused about who was the head. So, yeah. So when things didn't go my way again. <laughs> Cause you know we know everything, right? Women? I think they can identify with that. Y'all can identify. We know everything, right? Y'all can identify. <laughs> mm-hmm. They got you. They got you. I was not wise in how to. Um, even though you may have been right, we may have been because we are right sometimes. Mm-hmm. I was not wise enough to know how to express, you know, what I was feeling. Or hey, hon, how about we do it this way? Instead, I was like, you do it. I was all like that. So, like I said, some of some of my mother's hurt and bitterness transpired to me, and then I carried it over to my marriage because I was not delivered from that. That's a very good point you bring up. Bitterness, anger, strife, mm-hmm. envy, they're all little, I call them demons. Yes. I call them demons. Y'all, y'all never heard of demons, that's what I call them. They're just little demons, and they're little spirits, and, and they like to attach themselves to you, and they attach themselves to your Soul. Mm-hmm. They're not in your spirit if you're born again, right. but they can Say be that. attached to your soul yes. mm-hmm. even after you're born again. Yes. Cause that's yes. why you're still dealing with it. Yes. Y'all know we got spirit, soul, and body, mm-hmm. and our spirit is fine when it's rebirth and reborn again. Mm-hmm. But our soul is the issue. Right. That's, that's where our emotions and our thoughts and our minds. So tell me, how uh, did you get over this bitterness and anger and strife and envy? Thank you guys for joining the show. This was part one. Stay tuned for part two. And shout out to our sponsors, Salt and Pepper.